Cheers! This video is not about beer. However, this video is about an enjoyable part of beer, the alcohol. I would like to stress here that beer is made with microorganisms, yeasts to be accurate. There are millions of different species of microorganisms, some bad ones, but many good ones. I want you to start appreciating the good ones. Microorganisms are microscopically tiny living organisms that need to eat to function. For food, they require relatively simple organic molecules, such as sugars, proteins and fats. They help you digest your food and are useful for making many more things than beer. In fact, microorganisms are flexible enough to make almost anything of use for human life. This we call their metabolic flexibility. In this video, I will focus on microorganisms that can make complex chemicals and fuels for transportation. Not just ethanol, but also biogas, biodiesel, biokerosene and others can be made by microorganisms. We need to find the best conditions for microorganisms to make the fuels we desire and they should make in the amounts we need it consistently. The challenge is to let the microorganisms use organic waste from your kitchen, uh, agriculture industry and more. For example, some microorganisms can digest plant cell walls. This can be a beneficial use of waste streams and will help us to develop a sustainable circular economy that we need to embrace to fight climate change. In a way, it is a back to the future scenario. Before we became addicted to oil and gas, we used only organic materials. The process of microorganisms making material of use from biological waste is called fermentation or more precisely anaerobic fermentation. Anaerobic because it requires a lack of oxygen. In other words, anaerobic fermentation is the process by which organic molecules are converted into acids, alcohols and other compounds in the absence of oxygen. This process allows the microorganisms to grow and multiply. Often the product we want to have is the excrement, the poo if you wish, of the microorganism. Microorganisms perform fermentation in different ways. Some species of microorganisms work on their own, in large groups, others collaborate in communities that consist of different organisms. Biogas, for example, is made by a community of microorganisms. Biogas is a mixture of methane, the same stuff as in natural gas, and carbon dioxide. Here you see an example of such a community, where an organism is eating plant cell walls. Its end products are eaten by other microorganisms, until producing the desired methane and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is removed or converted with other microorganisms to make the gas you can use for heating, cooking and transportation. In contrast, beer is made by the single microorganism species yeast. Also, bio-oil is made by a single microorganism. If you give an oil-making microorganism a lot of sugar, it swells. The microbial oil is isolated from the swollen microorganisms and can be converted into biodiesel. Suppose we cannot find the microorganism or community that is precisely doing what we desire. In that case, we may tweak a microorganism in the laboratory. Such metabolic engineering is already in place and it's likely to boom in the future, provided all legislative aspects are dealt with appropriately. Compared to the alternative of chemical production methods, fermentation works smoothly at ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure. This way, they need fewer resources. Yet, scaling up the production is challenging. What microorganisms can do in a laboratory also must work in a large factory in order to reduce the cost of production. Current factories for beer production or water purification show that commercial use of fermentation is possible. Although fossil gasoline or fossil diesel may currently be too cheap to compete with, that is likely to change in the future. Overall, the remarkable metabolic flexibility of microorganisms justifies the prediction that you will hear much more about fermentation and microbial production methods in the future. For any product, you may ask yourself, would it not be better to make this product with the help of microorganisms?